Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the multiplayer mod for getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Um, it's really simple, it shouldn't take you more than two minutes. And I left a link in the description. It will take you to this uh, fa face punch link. And so this thread is made by the modder himself. And here he updates the mod um, every time. So I'm currently on 1.5.5 and the 1.5.7 just came out today. So I'm actually going to be updating my mod while showing you guys how to download it for yourself. So what you want to do is just click this link and it will start downloading. And so I'm just going to wait for that to download. Shouldn't take very long. Anyway, and he has the change log here so it shows everything that he's done with the mod and it, it's kind of useful to read over this because it actually tells you how to use the mod and just hit accept the risk there's no viruses or anything I've messed around with this enough that um, if there were viruses I would have noticed them already okay so now we have the getting over it data and that's in a zip file right now and so what we need to do is get this into our um, getting over it with Benefoddy game files so the best way to do that is just to extract it directly into the game file. And, and so when I hit extract all, um, I actually have to find where the game file is. And so if you bought getting over it on Steam, then it's going to be in your Windows C drive, program files, and then Steam and Steam apps, common and then you'll have all your games and so getting over it and then it's just in this little folder here is where it'll go and this may look slightly different for you because I've already downloaded the mod before um, you may not have the oxide folder but you may also have it I'm not sure but now or you may not have the getting over it data one of the two you might not have or maybe you have both I don't know um, so select folder and then extract and for you it's going to replace um, three items I believe since you're downloading the mod for the first time for me it'll replace a lot more um, just because I'm downloading an updated version but after we get this downloaded I'm gonna I'm gonna showcase the mod a little bit so yeah I'm gonna replace 35 files but I'm still getting four new ones replace Okay, um, and then that's basically it. Once this downloads, um, the mod's installed, and I'll show you guys how to use it in one second. Because it's a little weird to use if you're not sure what to expect. And perfect. So now the mod is downloaded, and I will open up getting over it. Here we go. And so when it opens, it's going to show you this screen first, and that does not mean your game is broken. For some reason, the mod just opens this. Um, you actually have another tab open, and the other tab is the game. And so we will click Continue. And so, yeah, to start online mode, you just start your game normally, and you can start right in the middle of your game. doesn't matter. Just hit Pause, and up in the top left, you'll have your server browser. So open that up and it brings up the list of servers. And so the one server that's always there is the official server EU number one. And that's just basically the standard server that you'll probably have the most people in. But if you want to make your own server, you can just hit host server and you can name it. Let's say you only have three friends you want to play with. You can just max players four and then start it. And uh, when you hit start, it won't take you away from the screen. You'll just be connected to the server, and your friends will see um, your server uh, on this list. And there's not guaranteeing that some other random won't join your server. Um, I don't know how private server works. I've never played with it. I'm sure you could figure that out. Um, I might play with it just to see how it works. Um, yeah, so that's it. And you can, you don't have to set max players. If you don't mind random showing up, just set it to 100. And, yeah. So, what else do I need to show you? So, to join a server, uh, like, you have to click on the server and make sure you have a name because you need a name. 
Uh, yeah, sometimes it actually doesn't work if you don't have a name. So I would make sure to name yourself. Then hit connect. And now we are in the server. And so the servers have a um, leaderboard that shows kind of where everyone is. So by looking at the right side of it, I can see I'm at 235 right now. I see high is at 268. He's just above me. And then Nano Hunters always below me at 143. Um, and we have a chat. And in the chat, you can do commands. Uh, it, there's probably more commands than just slash spectate, but slash spectate is the only one I use. I should have looked at someone's number. I guess I can see it. Uh, so each next to each person's name, they have a code like 1495 and I'm looking up here you can see their names floating around above you where they are I see Diogenius Golden Hammer his code is 1495 so if I hit enter then I spectate him and so he's right before the tower right now and if I use the right and left mouse buttons then I can change between the different people and so hey you can spectate if you want to and spacebar to get out. Um, there's also a chat. So, you know, works pretty much like a chat in every other game. I've never had any problems with it. Um, and that's about it for the mod. It makes the game so much more enjoyable experience just because you get to enjoy it with, you know, actual people here. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna ignore Luca for a second. But that is it. So thank you for checking out my video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll have more videos um, to come showing you more cool stuff. So thank you. Goodbye.